The Matrix Resurrections. It's directed by Lana Wachowski and stars Keanu Reeves and Carrie Ann Moss. Some of the other standouts in the cast this time around are Jessica Henwick as Bugs. I think you'll like that. Neil Patrick Harris as the analyst. Really stands out in this film. And uh, somebody that you may not pay attention to, but I liked her, was Lexi in this movie, played by Irin Dira Ibarra, I think is her name. Um, guys, I'm going to tell you this straight up. This is a movie that uh, a lot of people have high expectations for, and uh, I don't know how to say this any more clearly. I like the Matrix movies, and I think if you like The Matrix Reloaded and The Matrix Revolutions, then you are going to like The Matrix Resurrections. There's a higher chance that you're going to like The Matrix Resurrections, because when you think about these two movies, Everybody thinks The Matrix was like this big, stellar thing that uh, changed the the scope of what movie making was with the technology and all of that stuff, the great action. But when you think about these movies, that's what people wanted for the sequels. They wanted that. But when you think about the sequels, you think it's actually more of a love story between Trinity and Neo. And that's what I really thought the backbone of The Matrix uh, trilogy was, and now it's in a franchise. And if you believe that as well, I think you are going to like The Matrix Resurrections. If you want to see another, something as stellar as the first Matrix film, then I don't think you're going to like this one as much. Because it's not as action-packed. As I said before, it's the backbone I always felt was Neo and Trinity, and this is much more of a love story of somebody trying to get back to it and they use the Matrix to explain how this all happens. I like how it was all explained. So if that's what you need to know when you're gonna go and see this movie, because don't expect huge action sequences that will blow your mind. This is just another installment in the Matrix series. This is just another story. And for me, it worked. I liked it a lot. It made me feel very happy and glad at the end because there was a moment in it where I thought they were going to do something Shakespearean, like Romeo and Juliet. And you're just kind of like, my heart sank. And I, I was literally going, ah, oh. uh, because I like the Trinity and Neo characters. And um, this movie worked for me. This movie worked for me a lot. Now, I know a lot of people won't like it because it has a lot of technical jargon in it that will bog a lot of people down and confuse a lot of people. But that's not what really the movie's about. It's about Neo trying to get back to Trinity. And that's not spoiling anything. That's in the trailers. If that's what you realize that it's about, then I think you'll find enjoyment in this film. The thing about this is that I came out and I saw some of the initial reviews and the first review I saw all of a sudden people were just like he said that he didn't like it very much and this whole bandwagon of bigotry and bad just people who haven't even seen the movie just jumped on the bandwagon of hate don't don't pay attention to those people Make your own mind up about what you think about the Matrix Resurrections, because I think it does have some fun with its mythos. I like the fact that uh, how they did things, how they brought these characters back. I thought that was very smart. And I like the fact that they addressed a potential war between the machines. I thought that was really smart. And it just makes me happy because of how it ends. It's just, it's just got a great ending. You know, the uh, last week I saw Spider-Man No Way Home and it was something that I thought I would never, ever see. I was so happy that some people got another chance in that movie and it just made me feel really happy for those people. And it made me feel really happy for Keanu Reeves and Carrie Ann Moss to step into these roles again and have something that pays off. So if that's what uh, you are expecting, then... <laughs> you won't be let down because it's just it's just awesome i liked it i liked the ending i thought it was very well done the matrix resurrections guys give it a chance go out there and uh take a look because uh i think it's not worth the hate that i think it's gonna get and i know it's gonna have a lower box office result because it's on hbo max at the same time i just feel like guys um give it a shot because uh i don't think it'll let you down matrix for me, it was always Trinity and Neo, and uh, I felt like uh, these two really paid off well. 
So, um, yeah, um, check it out because I really liked it. I would give it a seven out of 10 and I would add it to my collection for sure. All right, that's it. Let me know what you thought about the Matrix Resurrections in the comments below.